So then, good afternoon to you all. My name is Julian Isaacs, also known as Auntie Puss, the punk balladeer. And I'm delighted to be playing an old um, Beatles hit for you today and to support the uh, Stronger North Stonehouse project, which is spread as far and wide as South East Stonehouse, where I'm about to sing this song for you. It's good that we have many friends and family that write to us. I'm not sure what's going on with John Lydon though. My husband, in Los Angeles, that punk rock singer, I haven't heard from him for better. Oh my god, it's the doorbell! I know it's really exciting! What could it be? Thank you, Mr. Postman. Wow, we've got post. We've got lots of post, Miss Lydon. Oh, Johnny, good. I'll pick that one down there. That uh, looks like post from North Stonehouse. So, you know, help our community out. Well, that's good. And uh, that's not mine. That's, that's that supernatural magazine for the neighbour upstairs. Um, we're just. Look at this letter. I've got the kettle on, Miss Lydon. Have you got my Doctor Who cup? Doctor Who cup on the side and my clash cup. Dear Slane, hello, it's your dear auntie, Alice, dear. I hope this letter does find you very well. I've heard you've had a bad case of awful chronic diarrhea recently. How awful and terrible. You must have suffered greatly. I'm so glad you're on the mend and feeling much, much better now. I'm just writing to let you know we're all fine in Camden, London. Me and my partner and our new cat, Mr. Tickles. You'd love Mr. Tickles. We know how much you love cats. I do very well at this time. As can be expected under these lockdowns and restrictions. We do miss seeing our friends and family so much. But a good letter can send a good chill down the heart and a bit of bless. And I know you like writing letters, and I know you like receiving letters, Mr. Slane. I can't wait till we can visit you again in Plymouth and Miss Lydon. What do you think of that, Miss Lydon? Oh, I can't wait to visit her too, and for her to visit us. Mm, Shane Johnny Lydon is not visiting. The punk rock singer. Uh, I don't know what's going on with you and John Lydon. 
I've seen from your Facebook posts that you've been busy with Wonder Zoo. I've enjoyed watching your videos made for North Stone House and all the good things that were going on in North Stone House. I'll follow it on Facebook. Fantastic what's going on down there. Congratulations to you guys and everybody involved in the North Stone House projects. It sends a chuckle to me when I watched that video of you going down Northwest holding Gabby's wedding dress. Yeah, I bet some people will be sort of like going, hmm, not sure what's going on there, as you know what I mean. Oh, that Chi, that partner of yours, I can't wait to finally meet her. I've heard she's a multi-talented, clever, as, as if she was a divine human being that has emerged from heaven itself. I mean, what can she not do? She was pleased how I sent a hello and a hug when we can hug. And I can't wait to have a good girl get together with her. And I can't wait for her to give you a bit of a slagging off because that's what we women do sometimes. Any joking slang, she's trying to wind you up. How is Gabby doing? Uh, and I bet she's always picking on you as always. She has always done that since Flame Works. And I know you always do as you're told when it comes to Gabby, even if you pretend you don't. And how is Tippy? I've heard he's such a technical wizard, a brainchild. You know, Google couldn't even afford to pay him. Ask him to fix our computer at some point, will you? I'll be happy to pay him, of course. What a clever guy. What a smart man he is. Well, I want to thank you for the lovely cat catnip toy that you bought for me. Mr. Tickles is a joy playing with it every day. It's given him hours of fun. I read this kidnap is a bit like, well, you know, Glastonbury, if you want. It sends them on a funny turn. I thought that was fascinating that you've always been great with cats. I've always found it fascinating with you. I mean, you've had several now, haven't you? You know, down at yours, stray cats or cats that sort of docked your home. And, you know, you're really good with cats. I know Gabby's always said that it's more like you steal the cats rather than adopt them. I'm not sure whose truth is true. Anyway, just like to say, I do like your new cat, Kurt. He's a bit of a fella, that one. I hope to meet him someday. Much love and hugs from your auntie. What do you think of that, Miss Lydon? I am so excited. It's made my day. I was so bored till we got the letter through. And that is so exciting, John Lydon. If you're out there punk rockers, you know, I would like a letter. And I thought it was fantastic. All the presents we've got here, all these wonderful things sent by the North Stonehouse Stonehouse team. Yes, um, hmm, what do we do now, Slane? A bit of cards, maybe? Oh, I quite like the idea of playing a bit of cards. Where have all the good men gone and where are all the gods? Where's the streetwise Hercules to fight the rising odds? Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery steed? Late at night I toss and I turn and I dream of what I need. I need a hero. I'm holding up for a hero till the end of the night. He's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. I'm holding up for a hero till the morning light. He's gotta be sure and he's gotta be soon and he's gotta be larger than life, larger than life. Somewhere after midnight in my wildest fantasy Somewhere just beyond my reach there's someone reaching back for me Racing on the thunder and rising with the heat It's gonna take a superman to sweep me up my feet I need a hero I'm holding up for a hero till the end of the night. He's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. I'm holding up for a hero till the morning light. He's gotta be sure and he's gotta be soon and he's gotta be larger than life, 
larger than life.